Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a problem inspired by Juan Pablo, a math professor, one of my colleagues on Twitter. He shared this tweet. I'll also share the links down below. He shared this tweet saying that he's been inspired by me and another mathematician who also has a YouTube channel. And then he came up with this problem, which is really nice. By the way, I really like the idea. That's why I wanted to make a video. I asked him for permission and he gave me permission to make a video of this problem. So that's what we're going to do. He's, like I said earlier, he's a professor. Check out his Twitter page and then get more information because he shares a good deal of uh, solutions and nice problems. So in this video, we're going to be comparing these two numbers. We have the square root of three plus the cube root of two and three and find out which number is larger. I'll be presenting two methods, even though the methods are somewhat similar or kind of like copies of each other, but uh, they're kind of be, they're going to be like kind of backwards. All right. And I'm also going to be sharing the result from Wolfram Alpha. So you're going to see the, you know, how close these numbers are. And at the end, I'm going to show you a graph, which I think is pretty interesting. So let's get started. So to be able to find out which number is larger, and let's start with the first method. So for my first method, I'm going to start with an assumption, because if you're trying to compare two numbers, especially when these numbers are radicals, uh, it makes it easier to work if you make some assumptions like this one. So I'm going to assume, and this assumption might be right or wrong. I'm not saying this is necessarily true. I have no proof so far, but I'm just going to assume that the, the square root of 3 plus the cube root of 2 is greater than 3. So I'm, I'm just going to assume that the first number is larger. Make sense? And then I'm going to proceed with this assumption and see where this takes us. Okay, ready for the journey? Let's continue. So I'm going to go ahead and cube both sides, obviously. So you might be thinking, uh, and why would I cube both sides? First of all, I got to do the following. So if you start with the assumption that this number is greater than that number, so here's what I want to do. I want to cube both sides, yes, but not like this, because I have a cube root and a square root. If you cube both sides, you're going to get into trouble. So let's go ahead and isolate the cube root. So subtract square root of three from both sides and then cube both sides. Make sense? Okay, that is much more uh, meaningful. So we're going to cube both sides and then the left hand side obviously is going to be an integer. So we're going to get two is greater than. So when you cube something like this, let me give it to you. I like to keep long story short. Uh, you're just going to use the formula. I mean, I do use the formula a cubed minus b cubed minus three ab times a minus b and you get the following this gives you 54 minus 30 cube uh, square root of 3 you can test it out and see well, if you get the same thing and then I'm going to do the following let's go ahead and add 30 cube root uh, 30 root 3 to both sides and then subtract 2 so we're going to get this and then I'm going to go ahead and Square both sides because I got rid of the cube root. Now I want to get rid of the square root. Let's go ahead and square both sides. That's going to give us now. How do you square 30 cube uh, 30 root 3? That's going to be 900 times 3, which is 2,700. And then if you square 52, you're going to get 2,704. Uh oh, that's not good. This is false. Obviously, we arrive at a contradiction because 2700 is not greater than 2704. So what does that mean? That means our initial assumption is false. So this assumption is false, meaning that its opposite must be true. Now, obviously, square root of 3 plus cube root of 2 does not equal 3, and you could probably prove that. So it has to be less, which means square root of 3 plus the cube root of 2 is less than 3. And since we were looking for the larger number, the answer is 3. That is going to be the larger number. Make sense? So far, so good. OK, let's proceed with the second method. Second method. So for my second method, I'm going to follow a 
kind of like an indirect approach. And if you look at the first method carefully, you'll get a, you'll get a better understanding of the f second method. That's why I wanted to do the first method first because it'll give you a background. So anyways, so I start with this. Again, this is not out of the blue. You know why and you know where this comes from. 2,704 is greater than 2,700. Would you agree? Yes, I, I can hear you say yes. And then 2,704 is 52 squared and 2,700 is 30 root three squared, okay? Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to square root both sides since the bases are both positive, it's not gonna matter. So now when we square root both sides, we're gonna get 52 is greater than 30 root three. First method, I made an assumption. Here, I start with something true. Make sense? You see the difference? Okay. Now, 52, I'm gonna replace it with 54 minus two. Obviously, you can do that, right? It's just substitution. And then, I'm going to switch these things around, like subtract 30 root three, like this, and add two, so that we can put them on different sides. And then, I'm going to go ahead and cube root both sides. Now at this point you might be like questioning like why is he cube rooting both sides because um, 54 minus 30 root 3 is the cube of a radical. We're going to find that out not right now. And when you cube root this because this expression right here is 3 minus root 3 cubed and how do I know that or how do you prove that? I'll show you. If you go ahead and cube 3 minus root 3, this is going to give you 54 minus 30 root 3. Where does that come from? Just from the formula that I already told you about, right? But I'm just going to skip that part because that part is fairly easy. So now from here, if we cube root both sides, we get 3 minus root 3 equals the cube root of 54 minus 30 root 3. Okay? Now, what are we going to do with this? We're cube rooting both sides and we cancel out and we end up with 3 minus root 3 is greater than cube root of 2. What does that mean? It just means that 3 is greater than 3 is greater than square root of 3 plus the cube root of 2, which is the number we were looking for. So we were trying to compare these two numbers and notice that 3 is the larger number. Make sense? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at, we said that 3 is larger, let's go ahead and look at the result from Wolfram Alpha, and Wolfram Alpha verifies it. Actually, this number is actually pretty close to 3, by the way, They're just it's just missing by like, I don't know, 10,000 something. And here's the graph. I wanted to show you this graph because at 2.984, notice that they intersect before that, between 1 and that value, the blue graph is larger, the radical is larger, but when the x value is greater than 3, then the uh, 3 is going to be larger. So, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.